It's a new year, and we have a new podcast. Because that's what the world needs right now, a new podcast. There aren't enough podcasts. No, they're not. And I love all people, rich or poor. But in those particular positions, I just don't want a poor person. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I'm Michael Epstein. And I'm Betty Tang. And together, we are your hosts for Mind of State, a weekly podcast that is about, well, just that, the mind of our state. China has total respect for Donald Trump and for Donald Trump's very, very large uh, brain. Mind of State will explore the day's headlines by talking to psychologists and psychoanalysts, historians, sociologists, political scientists, all to help us understand everything from Donald Trump and Trumpism to how race and racism motivate our politics to the moral foundations that make you and me either a Republican or a Democrat. American respondents preferred Hillary Clinton to Donald Trump in a benign state of mind. But if they were reminded of their mortality first, then their affection for Trump and their stated intentions to vote for him increased dramatically. Along the way, we're going to demystify and explain the psychological terms that everyone in the news bandies about but doesn't always use accurately. Terms like narcissist, or hedonist, or psychopath. The power of living symbols to move us with emotional reactivity is paralyzing the country. The symbol of the wall has shut down the government. Sometimes it can seem like the world has gone mad, or at least that it's being run by madmen. I will tell you that President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. We like to think of Mind of State as a sort of national therapy session to help make America sane again. So join Betty and me every week by downloading and subscribing to Mind of State at the iTunes Store or wherever you get your podcasts.